insurance system since it came online Sunday. CBS4 has been covering the delayed implementation of the pandemic unemployment rollout. And Jacqueline Quinn is joining us now. And Jacqueline, this really can be complicated. It can be complicated, and Kelly, we should really mention that this system is working for some people, but even others who are trying to file under the regular unemployment system, they're saying it's not working, and then, of course, there are the people who are being told right now that they can log in, but they can't file because they're going to be uh, getting ready for the pandemic unemployment assistance program. Meanwhile, a lot of people right now, they're just saying they are having a hard time finding the means to get by. My last pay was December 13th. Keith Jackson is one of thousands of anxious people waiting to finally file for pandemic unemployment assistance, which according to the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment will not roll out until the end of the month or February. I can pretty much do everything from the ground up on the house, you know. Jackson is in construction. He works primarily on renovation projects, but he says that has slowed down because of COVID-19, though he continues to search for work. People just are not allowing outsiders into their homes right now. The department said pandemic unemployment assistance users were supposed to wait, but Jackson got an email Sunday morning that made him hopeful. It said the new UI system was open to previously registered pandemic unemployment assistance filers. So Jackson logged in, but somehow he says it switched him to standard unemployment insurance claims. I called him Monday morning at 8 o'clock, and the lady, she's, she tells me, oh, it's a glitch. Everything should be fixed by tomorrow. He's been calling the help number, and so far he has had no luck getting through. And later he got a concerning notice, an email that said some filers with the system included an incorrect taxpayer identification number. Now he says he's irritated. I was looking forward to the tip where we could request payments and still nothing. So that's weeks. A lot of people frustrated by this, especially because they can't reach anybody. I did contact CDL Lee, and they had no con they had no updates as of this airing. Now, a another issue that the department is facing right now is the issue of fraud claims. It's estimated there's 20 percent of people uh, having their claims held up because of this. We're still looking into this and reaching out to the department, and we'll update you for now. Reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado first. Frustrating all the way around. Thank you, Jacqueline.